Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a decorate with me. I'm going to be styling these built-in shelves in my living room. I have styled them a few different ways before in the past with different color schemes, with plants, with holiday decor. But for spring and summer, I want to kind of start over. I have a blank slate behind me. I got a lot of new neutral home decor items from Target, Amazon, home goods that I want to share as well and share some tips along the way on how I like to style different shelves or different areas of my home. Hopefully this gives you some inspo too and you can kind of see my thought process behind styling shelves in my home. So let's go ahead and get into it and start transforming these shelves. So I have given myself way too many decor options for these shelves, but that's okay because I have some other areas of my home that I want to incorporate some of these pieces in. So it's going to be kind of like a process to figure out what goes together. I picked out a lot of items in a certain color palette. Everything's neutral, but for a reason. And if you look around at the decor in the room I'm styling, my puppy even blends in. Um, everything is very warm, some different textures with the wall art. The ring light is not normally there. That's where I'm filming. But behind me, I also have my coffee table that is travertine, so it's kind of like a stone. My couch has these wooden panels on the side of it, so I want to incorporate some wood pieces as well. Um, and also some elements of black in here too. So it's gonna be textured whites, some wood, black. Oh, and also some greenery too. I also have my step stool ready to go. I'm gonna be climbing up on these shelves. I have some slippers on as well because if I do it barefoot, I will fall and I'll just clean up the shoe prints at the end of this. That's what I've done every other time that I've styled these shelves. So I'm gonna start off with placing the biggest items kind of in sporadic areas first. We could rearrange, but I wanna get the big pieces out of the way and work around them. So I have this giant ceramic bowl that I just picked up at Target. This would be actually a really cute salad bowl. Honestly, is it a salad bowl? It says centerpiece bowl. It is food safe but hand wash only $25 bowl from Target. This might end up being a salad bowl, so let's see if I actually like it on here. And the other thing, I do have those moss balls, but I don't have enough to fill that, and I feel like it would kind of make it look a little too heavy. So we're starting there. These vases are also recent Target finds. I want to definitely do this creamy vase. It's the same color almost as the bowl, so I'm thinking maybe somewhere in this vicinity kind of on its own it looks good it might be a standalone item and then for now uh, i think this right here i don't want i want a little bit of a break with a green or a black in between there so next up we have three different wooden items this one from amazon these other two are from home goods little bowl another little salad bowl i could use and this which is a serving bowl that i was originally going to use for charcuterie so if i don't end up using it it would be such a cute little charcuterie board let's do maybe here for now for that this plate could be cute right here and this bowl has been here i like this bowl here actually because it's actually been there for a while so my mind goes to placing it there but because i'm going to be adding moss to it i want the pop of green to show so i don't want to add it too high i might not use this but I, let me move it up for now maybe we'll like that i feel like if i put it too high it's just gonna get lost i'm thinking that maybe the flatter items look better lower and obviously the taller items look better higher. I have one more kind of flat item that I want to incorporate as well. I'm thinking maybe, let's see if we like this. I might change that. And if it's too many plates, like that one layered next to that, next to that, it might be a theme or it might be too much. We'll see. All right, so now we're adding in some greens. We have these vases, the Target, the Antiques are one, and some moss from Amazon. Let's start with the moss and see how we like it. I'm thinking I'll do four of these moss balls. 
I feel like that's a good amount. I like the look of that. I'm gonna do this green base here for now so that green doesn't look so harsh. And add this smaller green base somewhere up here. Let's do right here for now. Kind of a little zigzag with the greens. Guys, these shelves are even higher. We have a whole nother layer to add in there as well. The so next up we have two sets of books. I like these styled together. This is just how I've had them styled in my home already. I really like this color combination. And then I have these new books that I got recently from Amazon that I like styled together. Let's try the beige books here. Something else here, something black right here. And we'll do these. I'm getting a little stuck with the books, but I'm gonna have them here for now. I think I'm gonna actually, let's move these books up here. I don't like how close all the books are to each other. Next I have these two white bases. This is a recent find from Target. This is the one I found at the antique store. I kind of like how they're a little similar, but also very different at the same time. I'm gonna do the white one up there and let's do the, the or this white one right here. Um, I really like the texture right here, contrasting the marble. Since this one has less texture and just kind of like the pop of the two things on the side, let's put that up there. I can't forget about the top shelves too. Let's add things to the top shelves next. I have these two bases that maybe I'll add to a top shelf. This one is another new Target find. This is an Amazon find that came in a set. I think I will do like this up top. I like a tall vase on top. Otherwise, it all gets kind of lost. So I'm going to go with that. We need to add some black in here too two black items here this black face is an amazon find i'm just gonna put it right here i really like those shapes together and then this little piece i'm gonna add on top of the books over here i got this greenery with a christmas present that i actually just put right in here and i might keep that there i think that looks okay i think it's good to have some texture in the vase as well so it's not just pieces with no like nature i wanted to kind of complement the other side too all right we're gonna do the candlesticks right here all right i do think that i like that and i kind of like this bowl alone i'm just testing out two different sizes of the art print i think i have to go with a smaller one the bigger one is slightly bigger but i might be too big for the shelf every time i climb up here i get very nervous all right so i added my artwork there and i think that kind of balances it out with the coffee table books because i feel like that's kind of like that visual pop instead of just you know the bowls and the vases i need one more item on this side i have this let me bring you guys a little lower i have this vase i think i'm going to save this for my bedroom i have this bowl i think i'm going to save for my bedroom i um shared both of these in a recent amazon haul they're gorgeous finds i have this vase from target and then my other options are this white vase which i think i have on um, i don't know is it enough both of the textures of the above vases are the same so it's too much white going on if i do that i might end up going i don't love do we like the baskets we have a bigger or a small one. I feel like it adds texture and I should go with the basket because everything else is very flat. And the painting has some texture. I don't want something too light to just be beige on top. So let's try out. I'm just going to stack this in here. Let's try out the bigger, wicker basket. Okay, I ended up going with the smaller wicker basket up there. I think I like that for now, but I need like one or two more things to finish this off because I feel like I need like a little bit more dimension like with the greenery I need just like a little bit more all right so I've been walking around my house looking at these shelves at different angles to see what I want to tweak a little I ended up switching the green vases I like that better because of the height on that vase. I feel like it was a lot of height having the bigger green vase on the bottom with the candlesticks 
So I like it there better just because it adds like more. Oh, can you guys see? I like it there better because it just adds more volume there and it makes this bottom shelf a little bit less heavy. I love this side fully. This side of the shelves I think are perfect. This side, that second row and that fourth row are mimicking each other and I don't love it. I might switch um, places on them. All right, so the tweaks that I just made, I have this bowl, I switched it for the green with the green vase up there. I feel like that looks better. I think it was like a little too much volume down here of a lot of tall objects. So having that smaller bowl to contrast the larger candlesticks looks better. And that looks better up there because it um, helps add more of a pop on this side so it doesn't look so bland. What I'm not loving is I feel like this might look a little heavy with the candlesticks and the bowl right there. And then this looks a little plain. So I think I'm gonna switch those around and I might like that better. All right, so my shelves are complete. I just had a couple little tweaks to do, a couple items to just move around and it makes me so much happier. I like this little marble tray here. I didn't like it higher because I love the look of the marble. Like this is such a pretty plate that I want you to be able to see everything. And I felt like the books and the candle were just a little too heavy there. So I liked breaking them up and adding in this little white bowl that I have from Amazon. I just wanted to add like different textures so it wasn't just like face, face, face book you know so um that way having the candlesticks separately it gives like a little bit of a different silhouette and it's not just very square or circular too so i really like this it's kind of setting a different tone different vibe in this room i'm gonna be adding some throw pillows in here i'm just waiting they're back ordered that's the only thing i'm missing from this room but i'll show you the overall look of everything just makes everything look a little bit cozier and more homey i'm going to also have everything linked below the books candles everything pretty much is available at target amazon um crane barrel for the candlesticks but everything else is pretty affordable my art is diy i will link the video on how i did that and let me know if you guys want to see a full tutorial on that as well because I plan on doing a really big wall art um, DIY very soon. But that's gonna be everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed decorating with me, seeing my thought process behind styling my shelves, how I like to balance out different items, basically just starting with the largest items and adding the details, um, working along that whole process. I hope this was enjoyable. I do plan on doing some more decorating and styling videos as I am getting into styling more items in my home this spring and summer. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.